Hi everyone, welcome back here, it's Matt here with Z Artwork, and today, I'm gonna draw a werewolf. I thank you guys all for subscribing and liking to my, and liking all my videos, commenting everything. And please subscribe though, hit that little button right down below, it really means a lot. But anyway, I'm gonna show you guys how to draw this werewolf. It's Halloween coming up, so I'm gonna draw it for the season. It's gonna be a really nice drawing today, spooky too. And I'm going to be using uh, different colors, black, gray, orange, a little bit of red, brown, and my normal uh, pencil mechanical pencil. I'm going to use my Atombo eraser. And so I'm going to start off first by making a very light outline of my werewolf. Make sure you always make a light outline because obviously you don't want to have smudges and you don't want your drawing to be uh, a way you don't like it because if it's too dark in the beginning it just sucks trying to erase the really dark scratch marks that you made so um in this video though i i, I kind of do half my imagination half some uh, pictures of werewolves twilight's good to look at werewolves on that because twilight's all about werewolves and uh, once again though guys i thank you all for watching my videos it means a lot to me and if you have any recommendations of what to draw i will definitely draw any video you guys say People have been saying draw cool trees and stuff, so I'm going to draw a spooky tree this upcoming um, weeks. So, any um, video you guys want me to watch, I mean, want me to draw, I will definitely draw for you. So, though, as you see how I'm drawing my werewolf, I'm making sure that it's a, a, just a brief outline of it. Um, no detail yet, and then until I start to work on, like, um, the detailing, then I'll explain more and more how to do it. But right now, just follow a nice um, outline of how you want your werewolf to be. Uh, with the hair, like on the outsides of the werewolf, um, make sure that it's kind of jagged. So it looks more realistic, more hair-like, and more werewolf-like, essentially. And then on the arms, because werewolves have basically human arms. They have muscles and everything, so make sure you draw the muscles and put a lot of detail into it. Same with the fingers. Right now, he's, the fingers are bending over that rock. So now I'm going to add a little bit of detail to it. Um, as I'm detailing, though, uh, with the hair, as you saw, I did on the tail and a little bit under there under the chest area. I just um, scribbled a whole bunch in, used my blending stick and or finger to blend it in, and then I erased it a little bit here and there, and then that's how you ma I make hair. Hair is very important to make, so always learn how to make hair when you're making animals. It will really help. And now with the werewolf head, it's, it's roughly hard. I'm going to make a kind of a larger head and an eye that's slanted down because he's looking more straight but a little bit down a little bit to the angle a little down angle on it so draw everything all like a wolf like draw like a wolf like head very simple now i'm going to start to do um more of the body of the werewolf like the head of it so you want to have the spikes well it's it looks like spikes, but it's hair. The hair spikes go in the exact same way as any other one would and make sure that it's going in kind of a circle pattern to signify uh, where all the dark marks are is the um, center of where the hair is going to um, go out to. So make sure when you're doing it, you want to have um, the triangular type jagged marks go in the exact same direction. And always use your blending stick and finger to add a lot of detail with your um, pencil. So now I'm going to use a sharpie marker. This is a very fine tip sharpie marker to do the outline of my werewolf in black. Make sure though you use sharpie never pen because sharpie again doesn't smudge when you go to erase it and or um, add more shading and blending. So I'm going to add, start adding some color as well to this after I'm done with my sharpie. And think about what kind of colors you want. What do you want your werewolf? Gray, black, uh, red, brown, any type. You can make your werewolf literally any type of color. And in this uh, video, I'm going to make it gray. So I'm going to use a gray colored pencil. 
de definitely when you're um, using pencils, or color pencils, have different types of shading, have many different types of gray and all different types. So you see how I'm going to just end up shading this all gray in different types of gray. So you guys see though that I am adding a lot of orange, brown, different colors, um, just making my werewolf really vibrant essentially. And I'm using my Uniball um, white pen to create a really nice hair-like effect to add a lot of detail into it, which is probably one of the most important things. Definitely get a white pen. But guys, I hope you liked this video of me drawing a werewolf for Halloween. I will be drawing many, many more videos. So, and then once again, if you have any video recommendations, please let me know. Comment, like, do everything. Again, hit that subscribe button. I will be posting many, many more. My Twitter is Z Artwork. My Facebook Z Artwork. So, thank you guys all for watching. I really hope you enjoy it. Um, enjoy the Halloween month. Have a nice day, guys. Thank you.